to AEW Forbidden Door 2024 predictions. I am Slim, not the world champion, not the indie champion, and not the commentary champion. But that's all going to change this show. And I'm joined by nobody because something, something, Joe's busy, something, something, Seth's lazy. Anyway, let's kick off with some unconfirmed matches um, because they've teased matches and I don't know if I like them. So, first up, we've got Serena Deeb versus Riho. And uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'll take Riho because why not? He's just returned. Then we've got Game Kid versus Roderick Strong. And I'll take Roddy again. No, hang on. I'll take Gabe. I'll take Gabe Kid on that one. Because he does have a belt. I'm not sure which belt it is, but he's got one. So if Roddy wins, then that will continue something. Uh, and then the other unconfirmed match is TMDK, Shane Haste, and Robbie Eagles versus Tomohiro Ishii and Kyle O'Reilly. And I'll take Ishii and Kyle O'Reilly because. I mean, it's, it's Forbidden Door, so the team of AEW and uh, New Japan is probably going to be Team New Japan. Yeah. Moving on, we've got the first match on the pre-show. We've got Chris Statlander and Momo Manabe versus Willow Nightingale and Tam Nakano. And I'm going to take... Um... I think I take Statlander, or at least Statlander's team. Um, I, I do think that um, that Momo will probably pick up the win. Um, it'll probably be after Statlander does something heelish. Um, just because then that furthers the Willow Statlander rivalry, because it's not ending here. Moving on, we have LIJ's. Yoda Tsuji, Titan, and Hiromi Takahashi versus the Lucha Brothers and Mystico. And. I would really like to say I like to. But. Again. It's Forbidden Door, so CMLL and AEW probably beat New Japan. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Lucha Brothers and Mystico, but. If LIJ wins, that's fair. And then also on the pre-show, we've got a women's Owen Hart Cup match. It's Mariah May versus Soraya. And I am going to take Mariah May. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with Mariah May because... Uh, Although, ooh, do we have Soraya win? Does Soraya win the whole thing? Because then she'll be at Wembley. And that would probably be the right spot for her. Ooh, that's a good shout. I might just convince myself to do that. Who's the Oh, yeah, Tony Storm. Yeah. Soraya for the win. Soraya beats Mariah May, wins the Old Art Cup. It's future. And then challenges Tony at Wembley. Yeah, Soraya for the win there, actually. And now, moving on to the main card. We've got the TNT Championship ladder match. It's Konosuke Takeshita versus Mark Briscoe versus Jack Perry versus Dante Martin versus Leo Rush versus El Fan Tasmo. And, um... I think it's Jack Perry who wins this. Um, the Elite were going to give him the belt. And that didn't happen. But El Fantasmo is not winning it because he's going back to New Japan, I guess. Um, and if he's not, well, you know. But right now he's signed to there. So. Um, Leo Rush doesn't need it. He's only just come back. So what's the point? Dante Martin sort of 
I don't think he's quite at that level. Uh, Mark Briscoe is Ring of Honor World Champion, so he probably doesn't need another belt. Uh, Takeshita could use it, but he's not really doing anything right now, so why would you put the belt on something you're not doing anything with? So that leaves Jack Perry, and yeah, makes sense. Moving on, we have MJF versus Hechicero, and uh, Max is winning that for sure. Um, it's going to be a good match, but there ain't no way that Max is losing that. It is his return to pay me after all. Then we've got a winner takes all match for both the AEW TBS Championship and the New Japan Strong Women's Championship, Mercedes Monet versus Steph McCurl. I don't know how you say her last name. I'm going to say it like that. Um, and I'm going to go with Mercedes because she's not losing. So, yeah, that's easy. Moving on. We have Brian Danielson versus Shigeru Takami in a men's Owen Hart Cup match. And, um, well, Danielson is winning that because, of course, he is. Shigeru is not advancing in the Owen Hart. So, yeah. Then we've got... Scissor Ace, which is the acclaimed and Hiroshi Tanahashi versus the Elite, which is Okada and the Bucks. And who the hell wins this? I guess we go against what I've been saying and we pick the Elite. I reckon they're probably cheap. Tana doesn't need to win the acclaimed. Would still continue the feud with the Bucks if um, the Bucks cheat to win. So, yeah, makes sense. And also, it's. I didn't even think of it until now. We're getting Okada versus Tanahashi again. So, this will be fun. So, yeah. Um, the Elite for the win. Then we've got Tony Storm defending the AW Women's World Championship, Championship against. Mina Shirakawa, and, well, Tony Storm's not losing, so let's move on again. Two, Orange Cassidy versus Zack Sabre Jr. And, um, this is a hard one. Because Orange should probably win, but also Zack is Zack, and he should probably win too. Um, yeah. Zach or Orange? That's a very difficult one. I have no idea. Let's take... Let's take Zach. Just because... Why not? Moving... On we have the learning trees Chris Jericho and Big Bill as well as Jeff Cobb versus Samoa Joe Hook and Katsuyori Shibata. Um, and I'm going to take I'm going to take the learning tree and Cobb. I know that they had something to do with uh, Suzuki not wanting to be Jericho's partner and wanting to fight him, but I think that. After Jericho wins this match, that's when um, Suzuki comes out, and that's yeah, that's the way that that would go. Because I can see the thought that he interferes and costs Jericho, but I think after the match makes more sense. So yeah, then we've got the IWGP World Championship match. It's John Boxley defending against Tetsuya Naito, and I've got... I really think that Naito should probably win, but I'm going to take Moxley. Naito has said that if Moxley wins, he should take Naito's spot in the G1. And I've seen a lot of things where people are going, but like, the champion's normally in the G1, and Mox obviously isn't, but Naito is. But I think by saying that, it does mean that Naito can lose and get out of the tournament and Mox can 
to the eye, it does open up the possibility of of Naito losing. Um, and also, it's not the only time that the champion hasn't been in the G1, so it could just be that the champion's not in. But yeah, Moxley, because why not? And finally, we have. The AEW World Championship match and Swerve Strickland defending against Will Ospreay. And I got Swerve because Ospreay's already the international champion. So he doesn't need the world title. So, yeah. And those have been my AEW Forbidden Door 2024 predictions. I've been Slim. Like, share, subscribe channel, the notification bell, on the Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. Links to those in the description. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. And other that, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Good night. Bye.